Welcome to Casual Time with Mr. Klein. I'm going to crack up every time I say it. Uh, this is really just something that I started as a joke, Casual Time with Mr. Klein. But then I got to thinking about it. Usually every single day, almost every day, there is something on my mind. One thing that just kind of lingers amidst all of the other thoughts that I've had throughout the day. And I felt like this was a good time to just disperse that and y'all can like comment you know we can dialogue whatever you want to do so here we go casual time with mr klein today before i get started i want to talk about my favorite drink right here that is a mcdonald's mocha frap double shot of espresso you may be asking yourself why I'm drinking it so late at night. Well, I have a lot of work to do. I have two videos that I need to run through and edit and prepare for posting. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be a minute. But what I want to talk about today. Uh, we have an evangelist speaking at our church doing a revival this week. And he is a... I don't really want to use the word old. Seasoned is a better word. He's a seasoned pastor. Uh, my pastor at church, he is seasoned. I noticed that the pastors that I like to listen to online, they are seasoned. Age may have something to do with it. Uh, walking with God for so long may have something to do with it. But another thing that really plays a part in this seasoning is digging deep into the word of God, really challenging yourself each and every day to dig deep, to look at your relationship with Christ and to say, I want to go deeper, to pray to God and say deeper still each and every day. Now, the beauty of that is you open yourself up to just allowing God's will to, to flow through your life. And that is amazing. And what else is amazing is God can use you a whole lot more whenever you are digging deep and doing things that God wants you to do when you are sacrificing your life, your flesh, for the Spirit, just to allow the Spirit to roll. But something that comes from that seasoning is challenging others when you listen to these pastors preach they preach with such a fire that it's unbelievable they don't preach these mediocre i, I want to make you feel good and these these little coddling messages just to encourage you and to make you feel better about yourself they preach the word of god that challenges you that will step all over your toes that will make you look at your life and think about your sin and be like oh Oh, there's some things I need to change. Or they, they make you look at your life and, and realize that you need to drive deep into your relationship with Christ. You need to strive to grow. That's what I like about a seasoned pastor. Just about every pastor I listen to is at least in their 60s. They've been through it. They dig deep. They have their prayer time, their secret place. They speak to God. They wait on God to speak to them. They listen. They sacrifice. They love. And that's something that has just been hitting me today. And if you've paid any attention to some of my videos, my, my style, my sermons, they have an old style to them. They really come from this, this heart that has been seasoned, not your typical young pastor's message, but more the messages of an older pastor who has been through something, who really wants to challenge you. And when I speak, when I preach, when I share my testimony, when I do the videos that I do, my, my number one goal is to challenge people, to look at their life, to look at the way they're, 
They're reading scripture to look at their relationship with Christ and ask themselves, can I dig deeper? To challenge them to pray deeper still. And that's the kicker. Seasoned versus unseasoned. Challenging versus coddling. Those are, those are key things, key battles. And this is the reason why I feel like most of our churches are, are sitting in a state of infancy, spiritual childhood. Nobody wants to challenge them to move farther. Nobody's wanting to challenge them to dig deeper. That's what I love about my church. He's unafraid to challenge you. He's unafraid to push you. He brings in preachers and teachers that challenge and push. And that's exactly what Christians need especially in this, this infancy state to drive us deeper, to get us off of the milk and onto the meat. I'm getting ready to post video three on that, challenging people to get off of the milk and move on to the meat, the meat of the word where there's richness, where we can glorify God with our lives, where we can just lay our lives down and say, God, use us, have your way. Let your will be done. Challenging versus coddling. I don't want to be coddled. I want to be challenged. And my challenge to you is to remove yourself from that state if that's where you're at. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Because nothing is worth it unless there's a challenge. Nothing is worth it unless there's a challenge. Listen to some really deep messages some deep pastors that really take you through the word, make the word live in your face, step on your toes. That's what you need. It's what I need. It's what the church needs. It's what people need. Not the coddling, not the enthusiastic motivational speeches. You don't need any of that. That's my thought for the day. So, I'm going to drink my frat with a double espresso. And I'm going to go get to work. So, until next time, repent, transform, praise, and worship. That's my motto. That is my motto. There is freedom and repentance, beauty and transformation. And once found, once found, praise and worship is different. Praise and worship is a completely different world once we find those things in repentance and transformation. See y'all later. God bless you.